Welcome back to Food Nutrition Facts and Fitness. While vegetables are generally healthy, some can be harmful to your kidneys, especially if you have existing kidney issues. Today, we're going to discuss 10 vegetables that can damage your kidneys. Let's get started. Number one, spinach. Spinach is high in oxalates, which can form kidney stones. If you're prone to kidney stones or have existing kidney problems, it's best to limit your spinach intake. Number two, rhubarb. Rhubarb is another vegetable high in oxalates. Consuming too much rhubarb can increase the risk of kidney stone formation and damage your kidneys. Number three, beet greens. Beet greens are packed with nutrients, but they're also high in oxalates, which can contribute to kidney stones and kidney damage. Number four, sweet potatoes. While nutritious, sweet potatoes are high in potassium. Excessive potassium intake can be harmful to people with kidney disease as it can lead to hyperkalemia. Number five, tomatoes. Tomatoes are rich in potassium, which can be problematic for individuals with kidney issues. It's important to monitor your tomato intake if you have kidney disease. Number six, potatoes. Regular potatoes are also high in potassium. People with kidney disease should limit their intake to prevent elevated potassium levels. Number seven, chard. Chard is another leafy green that's high in oxalates and potassium. Both compounds can be harmful to your kidneys if consumed in large amounts. Number eight, starfruit. Starfruit contains a neurotoxin that can be particularly harmful to individuals with kidney disease, potentially leading to kidney damage and even kidney failure. Number nine, avocado. Avocados are high in potassium, which can be problematic for those with kidney issues. It's best to enjoy them in moderation. Number 10, collard greens. Collard greens, like other dark leafy greens, are high in potassium and oxalates, making them a concern for individuals with kidney disease. Thank you for watching Food Nutrition Facts and Fitness. If you found this video helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe for more health and nutrition tips. See you next time.